Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we're back with this play of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time on the Nintendo 64. Last time, we rode the boat of uh, Doom over here to get to the underground area. We went through the door over there, there was lots of four hands, I guess uh, four masters or whatever. They split it to three, they were going over to fire. It was great. We got ourselves our boss key and our key to get through this door right here, so let's get to it. And I think we're very close to the boss, actually. And this room right here is a giant pit of nothing but you and the door on the other side. So let's go ahead and make it a little easier to see by jumping off the very narrow platform here. Yet, even with the Lens of Truth, it's not the uh, it's not the friendliest little room here. Honestly, I think the hover boots are probably a good idea. So I'll put those on momentarily here. Also, the hover boots will be very good for the boss, obviously. No, you're not going to be fighting it on a giant ravine filled with holes everywhere. But, trust me, the hover, bo hover boots will make your life a little easier, at the very least. Let's go ahead and... There we go. Alright, turn you off. I don't know if they're going to be helpful enough to give me any health before we go to the boss. Phantom Shadow Beast, Bongo Bongo. He's not the last mini boss with hands on. That's nothing compared to this dude. Yeah, this dude is Bongo Bongo. You're literally playing on a giant dr drum. And yeah, he tries to uh, he tries to knock you off the edge with his hands and stuff. So you want to go ahead and hit his hands with your with your bow. That'll cause him to open his eye in the middle. And you can shoot it with a arrow there. Awesome. And then, once it's all shot, you can actually get close to him and use a potion before you die. And wail on his eye with your sword. So, works out pretty well. I'm pretty sure the long shot also does the same general idea of... The same general idea of, uh... Stunning his hands for you. Okay, he punched me, that's not great. And if you take too long, then yeah, he, he will put his hands back in action there. There we go. But other than that, he's not terribly tough. He's really cool looking. Like, he's one of my favorite designs. That's for sure. I mean, how, how, how often are you going to fight a muted drummer thing? Okay, I thought I got him there, but apparently not. And he does hurt when he actually hits you, as you can see. He's doing a fair amount of damage. Okay, yeah, I, I did hit you there, but apparently he's being a bit of a pain. And with the hover boots, it causes you to not... causes you to not, uh... It causes you to not slide around so much or jump around so much when he slams into the drum with his hands. And this is why you want arrows for the boss, or, you know, the hook, off, the hook shot. So it's up to you. But as you can see, he's kind enough to drop arrows, so that's nice. Come here. It's being a bit of a pain with targeting. And you don't want to fall off the edge because there is a pool of lava down there. Or, not lava, but uh, poison. But yeah, not a terribly tough boss, but definitely enjoyable.
And there we go. Awesome. Let's go ahead and take the boots off because I don't want to deal with these for the moment. Alright. Grab you. And we're good to go. Park container. Maximum life energy increased. Awesome. Does not increase or does not replenish our mana, but you know what? We'll live. That means we just have the three more heart pieces and one more heart container from the last dungeon, and we're good to go. And I wonder which sage it's going to be this time. You can probably guess. The boy with the noble Zelda Zacharina. As I expected, you have come. I am Impa, one of the Sheikah. I am Princess Zelda's caretaker, and I am also the sage who guards the Shadow Temple. We Sheikah have served the royalty of Hyrule from generation to generation as attendants. However, on that day, seven years ago, Ganondorf suddenly attacked, and Hyrule Castle surrendered after a short time. Ganondorf's target was one of the keys to the sacred realm, the hidden treasure of the royal family the Ocarina of Time. My duty bound me to take Zelda out of Ganondorf's reach. When last I saw you, as we made our escape from the castle, you were just a lad. Now, I see that you have become a fine hero. There's nothing to worry about. The princess is safe now. Soon, you'll meet Princess Zelda face to face, and she will explain everything. That is when we, the Six Wise Ones, will seal up the evil king and return peace to Hyrule. I have to stay here. You go to Princess Zelda's side and protect her on my behalf. Now, I put my power, which should be helpful to you, into this medallion. I think I've said it before, but it'd be nice if uh, their power actually conferred like a small gameplay benefit to you as well. Like, the Forest Temple one could, I don't know, make you get more hearts or something from bushes or enemies. The water one would make you be able to breathe underwater longer or something. You know, something small. It doesn't have to be anything huge, but, you know, something besides just the MacGuffin for the end of the game. But, whatever. That that would actually not put it in line with the other... Please look out for the princess. It would not, it would not put it in line with the other Zelda games where, you know, the MacGuffins for the end of the game don't actually do anything. But, again, it'd just be nice. It's not necessary, but nice. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and go talk to Mr. You know what? No, I'm not going to bother with you. I was going to say I was going to go grab more stuff from the... Or potions from the potion shop. But I'm going to go ahead and keep my bottles empty just in case we decide to do something like hunting down the, the pose in Hyrule Field or something so we get the last bottle. But well, that's probably not something I'm going to do right now, just for the fact that it takes a while to hunt them all down and remember where they all are. And I think you, I think it has to be nighttime when it happens as well. So let's see. For now, let's just go ahead and we could also go for the remaining. I think what. Uh... 30 Skulltulas or so, yeah, 20, 27 Skulltulas, a lot of which are out in the world or possibly in dungeons since we have the long shot now. But the problem with that is after after 50 Skulltulas, the only reward you get is at 100 Skulltulas. And yeah, it's a, it's a decent reward, but it's also completely pointless. Like, I'm not going to say anything else to spoil it, but it is completely pointless. All right, give me a second here. Let me decide something. Okay, I wasn't going to do this, but you know what? Let's go ahead and see if we can't find some of these big poses. I think it does have to be nighttime. And they spawn in specific spots. I think uh, one spawns... Uh, let's see, where is it? The... Yeah, yeah, by the way, you have to be riding your horse for this. You can't just be walking around and finding them. And horse, I need you to turn around. So, let's see. The sign for Long Long Ranch It's around here somewhere. I know we've gotten one of them at least. 
Of course, I'm not telling you to stop, you idiot. By the way, I might not actually get all the pose myself, but I'll do my best to show you guys where they all are at. Okay, maybe I got that one already. Okay, uh, let's see. I know there's another one near Lon Lon Ranch. It's... It's, one, it's near one of the trees near the ranch. I'm actually not 100% sure if it does have to be nighttime for it to show up, though. I'm assuming it does, but I could be mistaken about that. Why is it not giving me the pose? Let's see here. I know I was near the sign for the first Poe, and I know we've got one of the Poe's, but... Okay, here's a tree, and here's the sign for the ranch, right? Yeah, that's the sign for the ranch. That means you should be around there somewhere. I just don't know where you're showing up. Okay, you get down, and then we'll play the, uh... Play the sun song here. And if I can't if I can't get the damn things to spawn, I will find a list online, which I already have up, and just tell you guys what the list says they're at. Because honestly with the with the controller I might not be able to get them all uh, shooting them myself. Plus I also need arrows. Let's see, here is a Tree. Come on, where's the... Where is it? I might have to get a better list, too. Do, do, do. Where is this damn... Oh... Horse! Move, you slow bastard. I hate this horse with a burning passion. I really and truly do. Okay, actually... Horse, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna send you to the fucking goo factory if you don't move, you asshole. Wow, that fucking nighttime goes by fast. Okay, is it... okay, so I guess it doesn't have to be... I guess it doesn't have to be daytime. Then. Okay. And it hit a wall and it disappeared. Okay. So I think this... I'm not sure which one this counts as for the ghost showing up. Uh, that might be the tree near Lon Lon Ranch, but I doubt it because that's more closer to the Gerudo Valley here. Okay, I hear the ghost. Where is the ghost? Yeah, the problem is, trying to catch these bastards is a real pain, at least for me. Because you gotta shoot on the horseback, and... Okay, there you are. If it hits a wall, it disappears. Let's see. Go ahead and... Fucking horse! If you get too far away, like the horse being a fucking asshole, then it also disappears. Jump the fucking fence, you goddamn idiot horse. I hate you. Okay. Let's get this thing to show up again. Or not show up. Yeah, they're also very finicky about when they actually show up. So... Yeah. I don't know why they're so finicky.
Okay, you showed up way up there, which is not great, because you're just going to run straight into the wall and disappear. This is one of the more asinine quests of the game. Trying to get these fucking things to spawn. I think I managed to do it once as a kid, and then after that I think I just set up for having three bottles because it was so annoying. Also, the fucking horse won't move. Okay, I got a Nintendo Switch recently, and I have every intention of picking up Breath of the Wild and some other games on there. I really hope the horse horses in that game are significantly improved over this asshole. Like, I really, truly do. Because if they're not, I would just completely ignore the horses in that game, 100%. Okay, there we go. You're gonna run into the wall and disappear. Okay, fuck it. I'm not running around looking for all these assholes, so I'm just gonna tell you where they are. Okay, so let's see. Along the path that leads to Gerudo Valley. So that's obviously the one that we're finding right now. Near a tree by the entrance to Long Lawn Ranch. That might be the one that we've already got. Because I know I've gotten at least one of them. Near a gray boulder south of the entrance to the Kokiri Forest. Near the sign for Kakariku Village. Okay, let's try a couple of these other ones real fast. Because this one is not working out for me here. Like, they're not showing up in, you know, any decent area for me to shoot them. Because the thing is, if you get too far away, they disappear. If you run into a wall, if they run into a wall, they disappear. So yeah, they're just real pains in the ass. Also, I'm low on arrows. Oh, okay, there's one right there. Let's see if I can't get this one. Horse! See, this is some fucking bullshit. The goddamn horse won't jump the fucking wall. And I think if they die for despawn or whatever, you have to you have to redo them. Like you have to redo the damage on them. And you just decided to stop for no fucking reason, you idiot horse. Come on. Okay, where is... Okay, well, that, that's one of the ghosts that we can find. It's just not showing up. Your horse, I fucking hate you. I really and truly do. Oh, but Eskimo Poodle is just a N64 AI and stuff like that. Yeah, but the horse still fucking sucks. Like, it really sucks. I mean, you're welcome to have your own opinion. That's fine. I, I don't... I don't care one way or the other if you like it or not. I don't like it. I'm allowed to not like the damn thing. Just as you are allowed to like the damn thing. So, okay. He's not going to respawn, but there he is. He shows up there. And there's the one by the Grudo Valley. I think we I think we already got the one by the tree, because otherwise that thing would be respawning at some point. So I know we got at least one of these things, right? Yeah, because that's the tree by the entrance... Yeah, I'm gonna... See, no, it's still not showing up. Fuck off, horse! I don't... I really hate when he fucking stops, rears up, and then fucking runs, uh, backs up for no fucking reason. That's irritating. Okay, yeah, this ghost just refuses to show back up now. So, that's awesome. The one redeeming grace about this is that when you're trying to find them, uh, they do the horse does stay, go in a straight line while you're aiming your bow. But the problem with that is, you know, the ghost jukes out of the way, and then you gotta then you gotta come out of the aim and try to get it to re-aim properly. Okay, this thing's just not showing back up. 
But let me go into the town and see if it'll reshow up if I come. Nope, there it is right there. Or that's. Okay, well, there's one of them. I am completely out of arrows, though. Uh, let's see. Like, I have exactly one arrow left, and that's not going to do anything for me. Let me go back in town and see if I can get it to show back up. Actually, you don't have any pots in here for me to smash for arrows, do you? You do. Except there's going to be all rupees, which I'm not terribly interested in. Okay, a card has 100 points, that's great. But I need a lot more than 100 points. I need 1,000, which means there are 10 Poes out there. And we've already got one of them. Move, of course. Thank you. Okay, there is some bushes over here that I can hopefully find some arrows in. Supposed to be some bushes over here. See, it said there was a po around the sign to Kekariko Village. So it should be like right over here. Turn around. Turn around. There you go. Yeah, some of these things are very finicky to spawn, for whatever reason. Fuck off, horse. Oh, there, there's the, uh... There's that stuff that I needed. He gave me some arrows. That's nice. Horse! Fuck off! What is your problem? Calm down. This horse is... the worst. I'm sure there's many people with fond memories of riding a pony around the field here. I apparently am not one of them. Okay, run into the tree. That's great. Okay, so that is... And yes, the horse is deathly afraid of water for some reason. It said it was there near the Kakariko Village sign, but... We're... That's the Kakariko Village sign, and unless I'm missing something, it's uh, not there. Yeah, because there's, there's not a sign on this side. Unless it's... No, because the sign up here is for... There's no sign up here. Are you gonna be over here, Mr. Poe? No? Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this one by the... by the sign right here again. And if it doesn't show up, I'm just gonna say screw it and link you guys a video in the description. So that way I don't have to worry about it. Because I'm getting tired of hunting for these ghosts. Because they're incredibly annoying. It seems like if we come out at this direction, the ghost will show up at some point. Or maybe not. At least it is at least it's convenient-ish that they do show up during the day as well. Okay, I think I saw no, that was just the uh I, th I thought I saw the ghost, but I think it was just the sign popping in. You're not going to have the ghost because I think that's it. Horse, calm down. Wait, are you? Oh, was I was I looking at the wrong fucking sign for some reason? 
times that's possible. I will admit that mistake right there, happily. If I was at the wrong sign. Because I didn't actually read the sign. I just went to the sign closest to the, uh, closest to the ranch. Come here. Luckily, once you actually get them, they're not going to despawn unless, A, they get too far away, or B, you run out of arrows and you can't chase them anymore. Okay, fuck it. You guys are getting a list in the video description and a video link showing where these things are. But let's see. According to the site that I'm on, near a tree to the entrance to Lon Lon Ranch, near a gray boulder south of the entrance to the Kokiri Forest, near the sign for Kakariko Village, al along the wall near Lon Lon Ranch, near the sign for Lon Lon Ranch, along the path that leads to Grudel Valley, north of the entrance to Grudel Valley next to a tree, in the southeast corner of Hyrule Field near a tree, in the southeast corner of Hyrule Field near a rock by the brown trees, in the northwest, northwest corner of Hyrule Field by the stream. Okay, so that's where they are. And again, I'm just going to link you a video for the damn things, because I'm probably not going to bother doing them. Sorry, but uh, it's a bit too much for me. So anyways, that's going to do it for today. And next episode, we're going to head to Garuda Valley and start doing all that stuff. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.